Today we're checking out Le Falayo'o Samoan Cultural Center. It's the first and only living museum here in American Samoa. I was invited to their dedicatory ceremony this morning and I thought I'd share it with you. I'm going to apologize right now though. I don't understand enough Samoan to follow along very well, so I'm sorry to anyone who does speak the language if the video clips start and end mid-thought. Even though I don't understand, I still wanted to share the beautiful sounds of the language with you. Lefaleo started off with an idea. I grew up here as a young man, and as a young man I would travel around, and back then you see many things out in front of the houses. You see the laufalas drying outside, so that kind of tells you that there was work, you know, that was going on back in those days. And when I moved back about three years ago, you drive around, you don't see any more of those things. There's still people here that can do it, but we're losing that art. That's where the idea was born to create a, a center where we can celebrate our arts and culture, but at the same time, where we can be able to try to influence and help with our tourism market. Uh, this is obviously a project we dedicate to my dad, but it's a project we dedicate to the Lord Christ. Here, when we have visitors, if they want to eat, they have to love them. They have to make their mailo and then they can eat them on the <laughs> plate. You know? yeah. If you want to make your salmon plate, then uh, <laughs> you know each story and how important it is to our culture. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the most important artif artifact in our culture. I want you to take a look at the, the, the roof. This, uh, these leaves are from uh, the Kuma. Back in those days, we had a lot of people. Yeah, okay. But nowadays, we hardly have any. This is one of the most challenging parts of our, our, our building because we have people all over the island for this view. Now since we found this view, we found the seeds, now we planted like a hundred trees on the land. So that way we revive the population. It's not only reviving some aspects of our culture and continuing that, but our plant population that supports those things. In the past we didn't use nails. So everything was found by Appa. Everything we use to bind, to make tools, to make hooks, to make your, your, your gripping on the on your war weapons, is all the Appa. So Appa is the elongated, mm. the elongating you because you can get the strands. And it's uh, you know like everything else, it's a it's a very uh, long process to create. Um, you have to soak the, the new, you can't use the pulu like the, the, the old one, you have to get the young ones. And you have to open them up and take them to the, the ocean and soak for, for three weeks. And then you can be able to work with it. In the past, this was uh, the men, this is, was our quilting club. And wherever we get together, we uh, socialize, we, we make the, we the, 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 the strands and we got here. So this was uh, something when we talk and we kind of visit with each other. So yeah, maybe someday we'll drop off some afa and you can, whenever you have visitors, you can fakta some afa for us so we can keep, keep making it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
After the ceremony, Dave Tuine, one of the co-founders, was explaining the significance of some of the gifts that are given during the Se'e. So a long time ago, when there was a big celebration, people would come and they would travel maybe for days to come to these celebrations. And as a way of saying thank you, the hosts would present gifts to their honored guests. In those days, gifts would have been things like a whole pig, taro, siapo, things that were commonly used in those days. Today, gifts are more like a refreshing drink, a case of tuna or corned beef, things that these guests can actually take back home and use. Of course, the fine woven mats are still very much a part of the se'e, given and received and passed down from generation to generation. ceremony for the new Le Faleo O Samoan Cultural Center here in American Samoa. I want to say a great big thank you to the Tui Names and the Ho Chings for inviting me to share in this today. There are things that I've seen before but I had never understood the meaning. It was good to see why these things are done. And stay tuned, next week I'll be bringing you part two. After the dedication, they had their grand opening where they opened it up to anybody to come and experience Le Faleo O. Really, if you're coming to American Samoa, make sure to check it out. This is what we were waiting for the whole time we've been in American Samoa. Just a way to see the culture and some of the traditions, things that you can't see just by walking around the streets or uh, just in your daily life here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know if you liked this one. You can either give me a thumbs up or tell me in the comments. Until next week, bye! <laughs>